or Christian lifestyle differs from the norm. Our life should show what we put obeying God before doing what is praised and accepted by the society. One time, I was buying a ticket in Cebu Park, praise God in Simsatsu. There was, while waiting for the MTR, first time I saw in 15 years here in Hong Kong, a lesbian and a woman kissing publicly and all, even the Chinese are looking awkwardly to them. And they are just enjoying their evening in front of the MTR. I said, this is what society, they accept it. The society now accepted this immorality. Yes. Everybody said amen. Yes. amen. And it really a struggle. Lalo na pag sa loob ng boarding house, hindi nyo may kasama ngayon. The values is not the same with your values. Yes. When you pray, they are going to disturb you when you pray. Yes. When you read your Bible, they are going to disturb when you read your Bible. Yes. But I will tell you, God is calling to maintain. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God is asking yes. us to maintain that what we believe. Yes. Everybody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Are you a persecuted Christian? Woo! Hallelujah. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs. Ikaw na po ang may ari ng kaharihan ng laki. Talo mo pa yung tao sa daba ang nagsasabi, owner daw siya na fair. <laughs> May pastor kasi sa daba ang nag-announce, I am now the owner of the world. But God said, if you are persecuted because of the righteousness of God, yours is the kingdom of heaven. Next verse is there. Verse 11. Blessed are you when others revile you. What do you mean by revile you? Revile means they speak kinds of evil words against you falsely. Yung gumagawa sila ng istorya laban sa'yo, nag-invento sila ng chismis laban sa'yo, and wala namang katotohanan. Di ba? Amen. Blessed are you when others revile you. Persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against falsely on my account. Wow. Blessed, mapalat ka. Other translation, it says like this. Hallelujah. Okay, is that the way? The one? Blessed are you with men shall remind you, persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against false people. Next verse. Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad. This is the kind of lifestyle that we have. Kaya magtataka talaga ang mundo, anong klaseng buhay itong nasa kanila? Sinismis na, siniraan na, masaya pa rin. I remember one member of the Saturday group. She is the one who pay for the house and lot. She pay for the building of the house. At the end of the day, siya pa ang naging masama. Siya ang nagbumili ng lupa, Siya ang nagpatayo ng bahay. Siya ang pinalaya? Ngayon, siya ang hindi makakakit doon dahil siya ang masama. <laughs> ano? Dahil lang sa kanyang pananampalataya. Oh, oh, it is because of her faith. It is because of her worship to the Lord. But Jesus said, this is our lifestyle. Rejoice! Be exceeding God! For great is your reward in heaven! For so persecuted prophets which were before you. Amen. Hallelujah. So we should reflect. Our lifestyle should reflect what we believe. Amen. We believe that there's only one God. We should not worship the other gods of the nations. We believe that Jesus is the highest name above all names. Let us use that name. Hallelujah. In our daily life. Amen. You believe that prayer is the will of God? Do it. It should reflect what we believe. Our lifestyle, our mood of living should reflect what we believe. Everybody shall amen. amen. The next thing is this. Our lifestyle should be a reflection of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. From the time Jesus began to preach saying, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
with Jesus' recent announcement that the kingdom was near, people were naturally asking, how do I qualify? How do I qualify to be in God's kingdom? Matthew chapter 4 verse 17, Jesus announces, Repent! For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Just imagine with me, the preaching of Jesus that the writer Matthew told, the message was, Repent! For the kingdom of God is at hand. And Jesus did not use microphone. They have no speakers like this. And just imagine with me, thousands of people are listening to him. So Jesus was going to and fro and telling, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. And then he just repented also that all could hear the very precious message. Na kailangan magsisi tayo sa ating mga kasalanan dahil malapit na ang kaharian ng Diyos. When people reacted, they just said, how should I qualify to enter into the kingdom of God? Everybody shall be Amen. We know for our guests and visitors who are with us today, Jesus said, repent and be baptized. Hallelujah. That was a very, praise God, exact answer of Peter when the people of Jerusalem were asking, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said that, kingdom is organized differently from worldly kingdoms. In the kingdom of heaven, wealth and power and authority is not important. Mayaman ka, magala man ang damit mo, hindi yan importante sa kahalian ng lahat. In the kingdom of heaven, praise God, the kingdom people seek different blessings and benefits. And they have different attitudes. Their entire lifestyle ought to be different. In the kingdom of the world, praise God, when you look at a basketball game, the attitude of the people from the very beginning until the end, they will shout, their energy is so high. That's their attitude. Some Christians also, the beginning of church until the middle, middle, praise God, in the beginning, so high. In the middle, and at the end. Pero kung nakatulog ka ngayon, naintindihan kita. Siguro, tuwing buklang ka, nakatulog ka kami. Ginising ka ng maaga. Maaga kang dumating dito. Praise God. Kaya ngayong hapon, struggle ka mga kapatid na gumising. Dahil ang preaching, parang natatamahan ka. Gising niya na nagtutulog. Everybody shall amen. Amen! Their entire lifestyle ought to be different. Of course naman. Pero bakit maraming mga tao nagsasabi, mabuti pa yung mga unbeliever pastor, ang kanilang attitude. Naku, masayahin pa sila pastor kaysa mga member ng New Life. <laughs> Yan ang isang pan sa atin, di ba? Yes. Mabuti pa yung pastor, yung mga unbeliever. Magaling makikisama. Yung kagrupo namin pastor, puri ang gaba. <laughs> Now, okay. We are going now to the heart to heart questions. Are you ready? This question, maybe it will hurt you. Maybe this question, it will bleed your heart. But are you ready? Amen! Sigurado kayo? Amen! Hindi kayo ma-offend? No! Everybody is alive? Amen! The cry of the world says, Why your lifestyle is like that? Kung tayo'y pupunta sa wanchay doon sa mga diskuhan at bar, masyak ka sa mga ginagawa ng Pilipina doon. And when you enter inside that karaoke house, you will say, abnormal to na lugar. Abnormal. <laughs> Isang babae, tatlong Amerikano mga kapatid, you will say, abnormal ito na lugar. 
But for them, that's the norm. Pero kung dalhin sila dito sa loob ng church, iyakan, hallelujah, praise the Lord, sabihin nila, abnormal itong lugar na to. So what's the difference? Where is the dividing line? When the world will come here, they will say, abnormal, that church is very abnormal, it's very noisy. And when you are going to visit also their place where they enjoy and there is normality with them, you will say, oh, that's abnormal. <laughs> so the question is, where is the dividing line? That is why God said, do not do what they do. So the question that runs this afternoon is this. Are you ready? Are your attitude and habit a perfect carbon copy of the world's selfishness? Is your attitude and habit a perfect carbon copy? The word carbon copy is an a figurative speech of like a replica. Praise God. Hallelujah. Of the world's selfishness. Is your attitude and habit a carbon copy of the world's pride? Ayaw mong magpatawad. Hanggang ngayon, ilang taon na lang, magkagalit pa rin kayo. You did not learn that from Christ. You are now putting a new creature in your life. You are not alienated from the life of God. That is why you spoke in tongues. And why? There are some questions that will remain in our heart. Why the old nature will always sprout out, praise God, and can be seen in our own naked eye. We can discern. We, it's very obvious sometimes, di ba? May mga panahon na makadiscern ka mismo. Dati mo galing ko ito, bakit ito? Lumabas. Lord, forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. Ayaw ko itong galing na ito na pabalik sa akin. Amen. 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 Is your attitude and habit Hallelujah, it's a carbon copy of the world's lust for power or the lust for beauty. 20 years, 30 years old, ang beauty mo perfect pa. 15 years to 20 years, your beauty will not remain when you were young. Everybody shall amen. Amen. May mga kapatid, ang linsan, mga kapatid, hindi ko maintindihan. Don't do this, praise God. Sana, pastor, ang husband ko, pastor, ay katulad sa iyo. <laughs> Tumigil ka. <laughs> si pastor Plaza, isa lang. At saka, out of stock na po. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, we are not after, praise God, of the beauty of this 